Good evening, and welcome to our third episode of CCB Chats. Our discussion tonight is on gratitude, and my name is Anita Ray, and I'm here, and I am the Grants Director for Calvert County Behavioral Health. I am pleased to introduce you to Ms. Stephanie Newman. She is our guest today. Stephanie is a LCPC, a licensed clinical professional counselor, LCADC, a licensed clinical alcohol and drug counselor, and an MCC, a new word that I learned tonight. Um, she's one of our school-based counselors, and she's located at Northern Heights and Northern, Northern High and Northern Middle. So before we start our discussion tonight, we would like to share a small clip for you all to see about gratitude. Do you think this is just another day in your life? It's not just another day. It's the one day that is given to you today. It's given to you. It's a gift. It's the only gift that you have right now. And the only appropriate response is gratefulness. Thank you. So um, November is often thought of the month that we want to express a lot of gratitude, um, thankfulness and gratefulness. So tonight's episode is specifically about gratitude and Stephanie is going to give us some insight into that. Um, so thank you all for joining us tonight. And for our listening audience, please remember if you have any questions to place them in the comment question section box and we will be monitoring that and we'll direct Stephanie to answer questions as they come up. So um, if at any point in a live discussion you feel like you need to discuss anything, you can please reach out to our 1-800 number. And if you're in immediate danger, please contact our response hotline number. So, good evening, Stephanie. How are you? I'm wonderful. How great. are you? I'm great. So, the most obvious and first question I want to ask tonight is, can you give us a little bit of insight onto what is gratitude? Mm -hmm. So, gratitude is having an appreciation and a thankfulness for all the gifts in our life, whether they be tangible or intangible. It's, uh, can reach beyond just the things that we receive, right. But also the, what the gifts, the acts that people do, can do for us and the words that they share. Um, it's, it's not just an emotional response, but it's a choice that we make. Uh, and then it can extend to just appreciating the goodness in life and being open to seeing what possibilities we may have um, and living each day looking for them. That's awesome. So um, I know we always have this discussion, especially during um, November because of Thanksgiving about gratitude and being grateful and being thankful. But I always wonder, what are some of the benefits of showing gratitude? What do you think are some of the benefits of showing gratitude? I think there's a number of benefits uh, across different categories you know, between physical, emotional, social and even spiritual you know, with there's been surprisingly enough a lot of studies about how gratitude is beneficial to people and how they express it uh, so physically it can increase your immune system's response it can lower your blood pressure it can decrease your sense of pain uh, it improves sleep it it can actually when people express gratitude in some of these studies they actually found that it the, the individuals increase their physical activity, mm -hmm. uh, less physical complaints to their doctors. Mm -hmm. um, so tons of physical benefits, which then also has the emotional benefits. People more uh, reporting less stress, mm -hmm. finding uh, good coping strategies to be able to manage that stress, experiencing joy, because without gratefulness or gratitude, you have no joy. Yeah, that's true. Uh, a greater sense of optimism a more positive outlook on life. Mm -hmm. And then you have the social aspect, which may be one of the most more fascinating ones is it actually makes people's social wellness improve, especially during this time when social activities have been so limited. Yeah. Uh, 
So we get a greater sense of compassion for others, uh, mm -hmm. generosity. Mm -hmm. um, our romantic relationships get strengthened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you think about romantic relationships and how often people have uh, arguments or disagreements or feel unappreciated. Yeah. Expressing gratitude allows more communication and uh, more just a sense of happiness and satisfaction with that relationship. So what do, you, what do you think are some of the ways that people are going to actually channel or show um, gratitude? I mean, I know we're talking about the benefits of it, mm -hmm. but how do you get to that point? How do they actually show that they have gratitude um, to others or even to themselves? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times we can't always show to ourselves um, compassion. So how do you think, what do we should do or how we should do it? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a number of ways that you can do it and it all... Uh, it really can depend on the person what works for you. But okay. some ideas uh, can be just taking, you know, gratitude is action. It's more than an attitude. You know, uh, you, you have to actively choose to express gratitude and feel grateful. Mm -hmm. uh, so taking a daily uh, inventory of yourself and ex you know, writing down what you're grateful for, whether it be okay. for the week, for the day, um, telling people thank you, actively trying to tell people thank you. Mm -hmm writing people letters that did something especially meaningful to you. And if you can't tell them, saying a mental thank you. You okay. know, sometimes we have situations where we'll never know who did what, but by circumstances it worked out in our favor. So we can do yes. a mental thank you or and at least acknowledge that we appreciate that. Yeah. So um, there's all these different words that float out there that are in the positive kind of venue. We talk mm -hmm. about gratefulness. We talk about gratitude, we talk about joyfulness, we talk about happiness. And so I think gratitude is a little bit different. And I want to see if we can talk a little bit about what do you think the difference is between gratitude mm -hmm. and gratefulness mm -hmm. or gratitude and joyfulness. Um, there's music about it. There are um, catchphrases about it. Um, so I was just wondering... What is the difference? Is there is or is even if is there a difference between all of those um, abstract feelings and thoughts? Yeah, I think for me, when I think of gratitude, it's a reactionary appreciation for something or someone. It's someone has someone outside of ourselves has done something kind for us, and so we then react and express our gratitude, our mm -hmm. thankfulness, our appreciation. Gratefulness is more of a way of living our life. Gratefulness is deciding to be, is being appreciative of the life that we have. Okay. So it comes down to, you know, is a glass half full or half empty? Gratitude mm -hmm. would be this glass is half full, right? Mm -hmm. Optimism. Yeah. Gratefulness is being appreciative that you even have a glass. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, and just ha even though it, there's ups and there's downs, yeah. at least we have this life that we can experience those things. You know, I was thinking, um, talking about gratefulness and gratitude is that, and especially since we've been in this whole um, pandemic era of our life, is that, is there a way to show gratitude even when you experience deep challenges mm -hmm. or challenges where you feel like I can't find my way out? Is there a way to do that? Um, or are certain things that we can do mm -hmm. when we experience challenge and say, you know what? But I'm grateful, and I want to, and I am able to express gratitude. Is there a way yeah. to do that, Stephanie? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's everyone's individual journey and where they're at in their lives. Mm -hmm. But I think we all can agree that this past year with COVID nineteen, you know, none of us are returning to normalcy. Yeah. You know, it's one thing for in a day when something out of the ordinary happens to us, and we say, "Oh, thank God." Or, oh, oh, I'm so thankful that you're alive. And yeah. once our lives return back to normal, what we know as normal, yeah. you know, we kind of forget to express that gratitude. Kind of like when your tooth hurts. Yes. Right. It's not until your tooth stops hurting that you're like, oh, I'm so glad my tooth's not hurting anymore. Yeah. But we kind of start to forget about that just on a day to day basis. But what do you do in the midst of the pain mm -hmm. when it comes when you're to actively? Yeah. yeah. How, what do you do? I was always curious about what do you do or how do you do that? I know for me personally, you know, especially in this past year when there's so much fear and stress and loneliness and mm -hmm. isolation and yeah. pain that you just have to take a moment to just stop and appreciate what is working. 
mm-hmm. you know, especially when it's so dark. Yeah. Obviously it's helpful to surround yourself with your loved ones that mm-hmm. you, you know, that you have in your life. Um, and notice that, uh, it's acknowledge the net, the bad, mm-hmm. you know, the gratefulness and gratitude isn't about ignoring the bad. Mm-hmm. It's actually about fully accepting that there is bad, Yes. but choosing to accept that there are some positives Yeah. and whatever, small or large. Yeah. Small yeah. or large. So, um, now that we've covered that piece of it, how do you train yourself to do that? Because I'm thinking one of the things that you shared earlier was that it's active. Mm-hmm. You have to, it's deliberate in a way to show gratitude. So can we share with our listen on it some of the tips or some of the mm-hmm. things that we can do to incorporate in our daily living mm-hmm. how to show gratitude? Yeah. Um, saying thankful to people, you know, saying that you're thankful, saying thank you to mm-hmm. the people that do nice gestures in your life, whether they hold the door for mm-hmm. you or they, you know, do something amazing for you, right? Or a letter mm-hmm. of recommendation. You know, mm-hmm. We have to practice that by acknowledging those moments in our life mm-hmm. to at least give our, let ourselves be open to those possibilities. Um, you know, uh, brother Daniel Stein Rast. Yes. That's right? his name. Yes. Uh, he has a whole mantra of stop, look and go. Yes. Right. Yes. You know, stop. It gives yourself, um, a presence. Mm-hmm. Our life is so busy. Like everyone's lives is always busy. Go, 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 go. We're all yeah. juggling so many different things, but to just be able to stop and be present in the moment, not just with those around you, but the, environment around you appreciating Mm -hmm. this beautiful plant we have here you know and um just putting yourself in the moment and then to look right gives you perspective Mm -hmm. we may perceive something as one thing but if we actually look Mm -hmm. we can see something else right that's true and then with go it gives us all our possibilities Mm -hmm. so when we have perspective it expands those possibilities it does does. so it's, it's the difference between coming to the street Mm-hmm. looking both ways and making the choice to whether to wait or go or just walking straight through it. Yeah. Blindly. Um, and I'm so glad that you brought up COVID-19 and um, the loneliness, the fear, the anxiety that people mm-hmm. experienced. Um, and there's always a special place in my heart for young people and their experience with it. Mm-hmm. I Can we talk a little bit about what can kids do? Yeah to actually show gratitude? What are some of the kind of action oriented things that they can do Mm -hmm. um, to show gratitude with each other and at home with loved ones or with siblings or parents? um, And it's just in their daily walk, how can they do that? Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that they can do? Well, of course, with children, it always comes down to the adults in their lives. It does. What the adults do, how, so uh, kids are sponges, right? No matter if you don't think they're listening, they're listening Mm -hmm. and they're interpreting it the way that they know to interpret it. Yeah. Uh, So parents and uh, grandparents and just adults in general teach you, they have to be very aware of how their actions are being interpreted by the kids in their lives. So to be great, to be grateful and express gratitude would be, you know, having them involved in that. This Mm -hmm. is how I express my gratitude. Even Brene Brown talked about, uh, she shared a story that I saw that talked about how she incorporated at dinner where the family would go around and say what they're grateful for every day. Yeah. Not just at Thanksgiving. I know this is a very common practice at Thanksgiving, but it is um, doing it every day. And no matter how big or how small someone's gratitude was, it was just part of, it was cultivating a lifestyle for them. Yes. Um, And the interesting thing that she even mentioned was that it gave her a glimpse into what was going on in her kids' lives. Mm -hmm. You know, because what they may say they're grateful for may, you know, expose you to what might be happening. Yeah. Um, So there's definitely research that shows kids as young as six years old Mm -hmm. learn to express gratitude by, you know, the role models they have around them, Mm -hmm. encouraging them to share, encouraging them to say thank you. Yeah. And then especially as they get older, it helps expressing gratitude can help kids do better with their grades. It does. Um, so one thing that's recommended is, you know, with Christmas time coming up, gift giving, mm-hmm. thinking more about less about materialistic items, mm-hmm. you know, especially with all the messages saying, buy this, buy that. Yeah. And it's like, I already have that. Yeah. But this one's blue. So it's yeah. new, you know, um, um, iPhone 13, right? <laughs> right. You, need, <laughs> you need four lenses now. It's yes. three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. iPhone. Yeah. You know, it's getting, 
giving kids more materialistic things while wonderful it's feeling and you know it's wonderful in the moment and uh, you know it's not saying you can't give them gifts but yeah. thinking about giving experiences as well mm -hmm. because we tend to remember the experiences in our life long past toys oh, yeah. and electronics which electronics hardly last more than two years anyway mm -hmm. right um so we can encourage that by incorporating that into with their daily lives it is and i think uh that's an important part about giving kids an experience i remember um when we moved back here to maryland and my kid was turning she was turning 15 and we had just moved back and it was her birthday her birthday is in the dead of winter it's in january and um she didn't have any friends here at all but she's a swimmer so when she came home from swim that night it was her it was a day before her birthday and i made her a sunshine box now remember she's 15. Mm -hmm. so when she opened up the box everything in it was yellow <laughs> everything in it was yellow and you would have think that i had given her like a trip to hawaii mm -hmm. and even when they're older mm -hmm. and even when you're thinking they're just teenagers there are certain things about a kid even when they're older that is still childlike mm -hmm. and i think that goes back to what you're saying is that um, if I can't show it to her, then she's not going to be able to show it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I just shared um, a little insight in me trying to think about how <laughs> I can show my kid how to be grateful. So Stephanie, you tell me, how do you personally share mm -hmm. when it comes to gratitude? You know, my kids are younger, right? Yeah. So um, we we love to read. We We read every night. Mm -hmm. Usually we end up reading multiple stories against our, our wishes, <laughs> but, you know, we're not going <laughs> to keep them from reading as much as they can. So I try to buy books that focus on gratitude or being thankful yeah. or you're sharing and being kind and mm -hmm. compassionate because um, that's important to me. Mm -hmm. um, I also um, have my oldest daughter, seven, doing a little happy mindset journal and just every day uh, as a part of her school is, yeah. you know, working on her social health mm -hmm. and um, teaching them to say thank, thank you and talking, having communicate more so than just say, go say thank you to them. Yeah. You know, more so to saying, you know, they took the time to get this for you because they, they knew you would like that or mm -hmm. they're, they're taking their time and taking you here and trying to teach them, you know, on their level, yeah. um, what it means to be, to show gratitude and be grateful. Yeah. So um, David Stein Rice, who you just mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. um, he shares this quote. He said, it is not happiness that makes us grateful, mm -hmm. but it's grateful that makes us happy. Mm -hmm. Can you share with us a little bit or elaborate what you think is about on the happiness and the grateful conundrum? Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're usually at our happiest at, you know, it's different for everybody, right? But I know for me, I'm happiest when I'm with my loved ones, we're having fun, you know, there's just pure joy, you know, mm -hmm. when you're seeing pure joy on your family's face or, or if I'm doing one of my hobbies and I'm in my, in my zone, mm -hmm. you know, doing whatever, you know, I'm happiest about, right? And so when we have that sense of fulfillment, that sense of uh, contentment, the sense of satisfaction and joy that you talk about. Yeah. That's appreciating what we've gotten in life and in that moment, whether that be something materialistic or whether that be an experience with someone, right? Yeah. And that in itself is being grateful. Yeah. So we want to thank Stephanie for sharing with us today about gratitude. So, but in closing, um, We'd like to share a quote from Melody Beattie, the author of Codependent No More. And this is what she says. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It can turn what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past. It brings peace for today and it creates a vision for tomorrow.